Today we're chatting with Susan Ann Mason about the brightest of dreams. Susan, thank you for taking the time today to chat us about this book. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, this is the conclusion of the uh, Canada's Crossing series that you've done. Um, and of course, it sounds like a, a, a silly question because of where you live, but why Toronto? <laughs> Good question. Well, I just figured it was the closest big city and uh, I could do research easily because I can drive in from Brampton. It's only a 40 minute drive from Brampton. So it's, uh, and it's, I just love Toronto. So there's a lot of history there. And uh, that was actually one of the main places where uh, Dr. Bernardo had his receiving home, was in Toronto. Um, and, and this is historical Toronto. This is the Toronto of today. Uh, right. How much research did you have to do to dig in to sort of get the, well, the feel? So of the yeah. Yeah, a lot, especially for this one, because it was such a weighty subject matter for the British home children. Um, so I didn't want to get that wrong. So I did a, quite a bit of research before I even embarked on this uh, book at all. I read many books and um, joined the, uh, a Facebook, Facebook group that is dedicated to the British home children. And so, yeah, it was quite a bit of research done on that. The character in this uh, that's making the crossing is uh, Quinton, who's off to meet up with his siblings, kind of reunite the family um, in a way. And, and of course, um, it wouldn't be a story if that just happened and that was the end of that. There's lots of twists and turns. When, when you're creating a character like um, a Quentin, is it based loosely on somebody that you know uh, and you're just kind of putting him into that time period uh, based on a historical character? How do you come up with somebody like um, Quentin? Like Quentin. Good question. I think I first came up with him in the beginning of the first book, in the prologue, where all the three people are on the ship, and he saves one of the um, the first characters from um, some of the soldiers that are accosting her. And I thought, okay, he's he's all he just kind of came to me as this very heroic and protective type of character. Um, so no, he wasn't based on anyone I know. He just came to me, and I added characteristics as I went along. And I knew he'd have to be someone who was very dedicated to his family and uh, very loyal. And he also made a, a dying promise to his father that he would keep the family together. So that was, that's the main motivation for him. How important um, are the themes that are in this to you personally? This, this is about family. This is about the dedication to promises. Um, there's also love thrown in there um, as well, but how important are those themes to you? Are these sort of near and dear? Uh, in other words, did the theme come first in, in your mind uh, or the, the setting? You, you thought of, oh, Toronto, this would be a great background. Um, well, actually, the, uh, it was the whole British home children that came first. It was my, my uh, publisher that mentioned, I never even heard of the British home children before. And when I started delving into it and I realized the weight of the subject matter. I really wanted to get it right. So, but yeah, the, and that was the whole thing about these children that were sent across the ocean and they were separated from their family member. Many times they never saw their family members again. And I just, I just felt that, and, and that created such a hole in them, like such a, a wound for their whole life. Some people didn't even mention it. Like this one lady, Lori, her mother, she didn't mention it until she was in her eighties. No one in her family knew she'd been a British home child. So, and she grieved her siblings her whole life, never, never having um, seen them again. And just, I just wanted that to get that whole, um, that yearning for family and that dedication to the family through Quentin. How, you know, how would it feel if, if, he, if these children could have been reunited with their family members? Mm -hmm. So that was my, my goal um, of, of doing that. Trying to give some closure, giving the historical value, but also giving a happy ending in the end. The book is The Brightest of Dreams from Susan Ann Mason. Thank you so much, Susan, for chatting, us, chatting with us today uh, about The Brightest of Dreams. You're welcome. I hope people enjoy the story.